Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hello, guys. Great to see you. Hi, Monica. I don't know if you're in classes, so hi there. Uh, Irving, good evening. Azucena, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. There you go. Good evening. How you doing? I'm just fine. Thank you. And you? Great to hear that. I'm doing great, I guess. New week, you know, so new plans. And I guess everything is going great so far. So, Monica, you look very happy today. Yeah. <laughs> How's everything going? Yes, sir. That was my birthday. So oh, I bring happy birthday. Thank you. Super, super. Okay, nice. Did you have a good party? Did you did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, actually, it was my first year uh, because happened on many things in my life that I didn't can, you know, I don't know. Enjoy it. Enjoy with my family, all my family, with my parents, with my brother and sister, my okay. siblings. So this year was my first year from a lot of years ago that I can mm -hmm. enjoy it with my with my family together. So it was very emotional for me. So oh, but nice. <laughs> but, but it sounds amazing. So was your family there? So um and and i think that like spending time with your family is like pretty cool right especially on yeah. those moments so i'm super happy for you and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and you have a very nice celebration and that you can continue right <laughs> yeah, so I having celebrations. You, yeah i told you the last class yeah the week ago that i going they going to realize uh interview so <laughs> I'm very happy for the interview that I did. So because it was a very, very great um I don't know who can I say like experience it was very good. I enjoyed. I control myself to cool. do it by the way. So I have a very good answer for the interview. So I'm very happy for that. Oh, that's really good to hear. When 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 will you get like a result or when will they let you know? If you no, have a passing is, score. Yeah, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna do the second interview that is in Zoom. I like almost a fight to fight, but via Zoom, you know, mm -hmm. online. So oh, okay. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, you know, you, you get a good experience as well. All right. Yeah. But I'm glad to hear that. Hi Noemi, good evening. How you doing? I think I saw Irvin there as well. How are you guys? How was your weekend? Did you have a good one? Did you enjoy your weekend? In my case, I was uh, very busy. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you work? Uh, no, but I I was working in a homework. Uh, oh, uh, are you at university? No, but I am. I am studying a. Uh, a course uh, about uh, business administration. Ah, nice. Is it online? Yes, online. Oh, okay. So do you have classes uh, what, on Saturday and Sunday? Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Yeah. From like... 6 p.m. to 8, 30 p.m. Oh, okay, so, okay. Wow, sounds really cool and sounds really busy. Yeah. So now I understand. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now now it, everything makes sense. Oh, okay, okay. Well, well, you know, I always think that whenever you are busy, so um, the day goes a little bit faster, right? Yeah. So it, it's good in a way because when you notice, you know, time day is over and the new week is coming but at the same time it's like you don't tend to enjoy it that much right but but, but sacrifices but sometimes, sometimes i wish uh have more time because wow. the time for me is over all days and always i have a lot of things for to do in. oh seriously because of work or because of the course you're taking uh, for both things Oh, really? What do you do? What is your job, by the way? Uh, 
I work in a manufacturing company. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I am a certified auditor. But uh -huh. um, since two months, uh, mm -hmm. I'm working in a new project. It's mm -hmm. about a, a color. Okay. So it requires a lot of your time. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, do you feel that the day goes by so fast? Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. But, but, but I totally get it, you know? So whenever you are super, super busy, so you don't, you don't feel the time, time flies. But when you got not much to do, you are like checking your watch all the time. <laughs> and time is exactly the same. So I totally yeah. get that. All right. No, but I'm happy. I'm happy you're busy. And you got a lot of work. <laughs> in a in a in a in a sense, that's not that bad. Hi Rafael, good evening. Great to see you. How you doing? Hi, good evening. Fine, thank you. And you? Great. I'm doing great, you know. So I'm thinking, yeah, I, I think I'm I'm great. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> for asking. Hi Sophia, good evening. Great to have you. Thanks a lot for joining. Good and, evening. Hi, good evening. How was your weekend, guys? They, they, these guys were telling me a little bit about the weekend. What about you? Did you have a good weekend? Good weekend. Really? What did you do? Uh, my daughter, mm, do, she does the, the Primera Comunión. Ah, primera okay. Comunión. Okay. So those are the sacraments. She got the, the first sacrament. Uh, Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Her first sacrament. Okay, nice. Did how do you normally celebrate that? Do you do you make any special celebration or like a, a yes. party, some f food? Party. You you have a party, okay. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Yeah. With I, pizza and cake. Oh, so that was a pizza party. Okay, sounds That's nice. All right. Nice. Good. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> okay, sounds really nice. Well, guys, um, thanks a lot for your time and thanks a lot for sharing uh, a little bit with us. Yes, Noemi, tell me. Teacher, in the final exam in the platform, the letter D doesn't have the article for reading. Oh, okay. Let me check that out. Uh, you said letter D, final exam. I'm, I'm going to check it in a second, uh, just to ask for the correction of it. Thanks a lot for that. I'm going to take notes because I, otherwise I'll forget it. Give me one sec. Okay, so letter D, some article missing. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, guys, um, so we are going to be working a little bit today. Actually, now that you mentioned medical, <laughs> we're going to be working a little bit with suffixes, so like parts of the speech today. I know you have already completed this exercise, but we are going to like uh, practice this in the speaking a little bit. First of all, I have two questions for you guys. The first one says, do you think do you think that weekends are usually boring? Uh, like you were telling me a little bit about your weekend. So in general, what do you think? Are they usually boring? Are they interesting? How would you um, describe them? And the second one is what activities do you find the most relaxing? Let's talk a little bit about your weekends. Are weekends boring for you? Are they interested? Are they, uh, I don't know, relaxing? So how would you describe your weekends? Besides busy, because I guess most of you work probably on Saturday. So I how go do you- to the church on Sunday. You go to church on Sunday, okay. Yes, for me uh, it's good. <laughs> okay, okay, so for you it's okay. What about the rest of you guys? Is it do you have boring weekends? No. no. It's interesting for me. Interesting. What do you yes. normally do on the weekend? I go to the beach or to the lake, or I go to the movies 
I go to have dinner with all my family oh, or my friends nice. or we meet in, we, in my house with our friends oh. and, and make a barbecue. Oh, super cool. Okay. <laughs> so they sound busy and with a lot of social life. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's super nice. Okay. <laughs> Guys, what about the rest of you? How? What do you do on your weekend? How do you describe it? Hi, Elvis. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. My activity in my weekend is uh, very interesting. In the morning, I mm -hmm. uh, take a, my exercise. I go running. Oh. In my place, yes. Um, after around the night, they take my breakfast and go out with my family. Um, <clears throat> the shopping. Um, and on on they go to the shop. Nice. So they sound kind of busy uh, weekends too. How much do you run? So is it like walking, jogging, um, or running? Running one oh. hour. One hour running. Yes. Yes. Oh my God! You got a lot of stamina. Okay, <laughs> super nice. I run only like ten minutes and I'm done. <laughs> Okay, um, so we call it stamina, right? So stamina is what we call resistencia. So whenever you're like walking or doing exercise, so that's a stamina. Wow, one hour, super nice. Yeah, okay. but a little slowly. <laughs> oh, so jogging, <laughs> not running. Yes. Ah, no, okay, you no, like me. <laughs> but but, but okay. slowly. Okay, so jogging. <laughs> that would be jogging. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, but it's still one hour is a lot. Non stop. <laughs> no, no. One hour no, non stop. No. Yes, no stop, okay. but uh, um, running slowly. Okay, so jogging. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sylvia. Good evening. So, Miss, what about you? What about your weekends? What do you do? Are they boring? Are they interesting? How do you describe your weekends? My weekend, teacher. Mm -hmm. I teacher. I get married this the last oh, weekend. Oh my God! Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so not boring at all. <laughs> we got that. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Good for you. Okay, so, okay, yeah, no, no details. They are not necessary. <laughs> no, Thank that is super you. cool. And congrats for uh, your, for your vows and your marriage. So that is Thank super you, cool. Okay, yeah. okay. So, teacher. He, yes, tell me. I think my weekends um, are special. Oh. Because I, I can spend time with my family. I go to visit to my parents oh, okay. or I go to, to visit to my uh, suegros. I don't know how to say. Your parents-in-law. My parents-in-law. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, sometimes nice. we went out for, for a lunch mm -hmm. or or to the beach. For example, this um, Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, I went um, a beautiful wedding with my husband. So we spent time uh, together. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Nice. So sounds good and sounds like you have a lot of activities like in family. So you spend your time like sharing or spending time with your family, you know, your husband. So yeah. it sounds very cool. Very cool and on indeed. Sunday, we, we go to the church. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Sounds really good. Guys, let's take a look at the second question. It says, what activities do you find the most interesting? Um, no, sorry. It says the most relaxing. So what activity relaxes you? What is an activity that you do that you say, oh, this is very cool. I like doing this because I feel good, because I feel relaxed. Listening to music. Listening to music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what kind of music? Uh, 
Listen. Okay, for example. Uh, <laughs> because but, uh, Korean music. Korean music, like K pop. Uh, so so, but uh, uh, in a particular singer. Who do you like to listen to? Uh, you like BTS? Kim Yong Jong. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Very interesting. I have not listened that much. BTS, I think somebody said there. Um, oh. Do you like that kind of music, guys? BTS? Is it related? Yes, yeah, BTS. Okay. I oh. dance with BTS. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. I think I prefer like classics from the 80s and 90s. I'm happy with that. Uh, or yes. Uh -huh, or like electronic. So I'm good with it. But okay. what do you think? So what relaxes you? Um, so no, I miss as music. What about the rest of you? What activity is the most relaxing Opera. for you? Um, Opera. Activity. Do exercise. Do uh, an exercise? And sing. Singing, okay. Reading. Reading. Oh, relaxing. Okay. Okay. Anything else? I used to take a long shower. Oh, okay. Taking a long shower. All right. What about uh, the rest of you guys? Yes? Okay. For me, is uh, I go running, go driving my motorcycle. Okay. So I, riding I your motorcycle. I, yes. At the mountain. Yes. To I, the mountains. Where do you yes. go? For example, uh, the Balsamo Street Balsam. for for the for for all mountain. Uh, we so to, over Comasawa, yes, Tamanique. Yes, yes, for oh, all places. Those are beautiful and, views. Yes, when the snowing, when our uh, neblina snow. Uh, no fog, fog. fog. Oh. Yes, when it is foggy. When the foggy, when the foggy uh, puts in your in your face, it's a oh. take a relax. Okay. <laughs> yes. It is dangerous though because the street is very slippery. So if you are in the yes. motorcycle, it can be a little dangerous. But the yes, views yes. are beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, driving a motorcycle. Okay, nice. Uh, I, I would say for me, maybe one relaxing thing is driving, but not in San Salvador and not in, in rush hour. <laughs> so, yeah. but like driving or camping. I love camping. So, Salatanango so is on a road for me, oh. El Pital, for example. Oh, but camping. <laughs> Yeah, I love walking and I love camping. So I think for me, it's like super relaxing. <laughs> okay, nice. Guys, let's take a look at a couple of words here that we are going to be working. That is actually the difference between ED and ING. So when can I say, for example, it is relaxing, it is boring, or when can I say it is bored? It is relaxed. What is the correct way to use those words? Can I actually say it is relaxed? So let's take a look a little bit at the difference between these two. First, we are going to try to make okay some words out of the verbs that we have right here. Normally, when we have a verb, so we can add the ed or ing, and the meaning will be a little different. So we have, for example, with bored. So we have bored or we have boring. Two words, different meaning and different context. So guys, from the video you have already seen, um, let me just explain the following. Bored, ED, refers to feelings and people. ING refers to situations. Yeah, so uh, for example, if I'm gonna say something that is boring, I can mention, for example, uh, let, let me see. Something, oh my God, I cannot think of something boring. Guys, can you tell me something boring? Oh, golf, for example. So playing golf, playing tennis. For me, that is boring. What is something boring for you? Can you think of something that is boring? 
Uh, el juego de mesa, cheers. cheers. Ah, ok. So, like, board games. They are board games. Chess, for example. I said chess. You don't like chess? Ok. Do you, like, do you um, understand? I the cannot rules. play. <laughs> But I love checkers. So checkers right. is like damas chinas, right? Yeah. So, or, or like the, the oil Salvadorian game with corcholatas, <laughs> with tops, soda tops or soda lips. So yes, so those are checkers. Uh, so board games are boring for you, okay? Guys, what is boring? No, no, that's place, all the place, no, only the cheers. Uh, only chess is boring. Only because I understand, I can understand the rules. The rules, I get that. Okay, yes, I totally get you. Well, guys, what about the rest of you? What is boring? For me, it's watch uh, serious, serious. Oh, watch a series is boring. Yes. Okay, okay, that's okay. That's all right. Now, that is the other side of the story. When am I going to use board? Normally with board, it is super common that you use I am bored, right? Or I get bored. So I get bored, and but we explain the situation. It's not that you are a boring person, but is that because of the situation you feel bored. So I get bored when, guys, when do you get bored? I get bored when a topic is not interesting, for example, for me, right? Or I get bored when I don't have anything to do. What about you guys? When do you get bored? When I don't understand the class. When you don't understand the class, okay. In a meeting of father or oh, parents. Ah, in the school. Yes. So you get bored when you have the school meetings, okay? Any, any, anything else that is boring or that you get bored? Um, yeah, when you are waiting your turn or your, that you're passing the east. Oh, like, yes. When you are waiting your time when you are get, waiting for your turn, it's so boring. I Not, get that. Actually, yeah, but because you can use the cell phone, so it's more boring. Actually, there is a word for that that is waiting in a queue. So queue, I'm going to write the word in the chat because uh, it's uh, written in a different way. So queue actually is como una fila, right? So waiting in a queue is when you go to the bank, when you go to Seguro Social, any other place when there is a queue? A bank. Uh -huh, a bank. A doctor. Doctor, okay, the doctor's office, seguro, hospital, banks. So that is waiting in a queue, exactly. And the traffic is boring, the traffic. Okay, traffic, you get bored when you're in. I get stressed out. <laughs> so yeah, I think we have different feelings here. Now, excite. Guys, can you tell me the adjective with ED that is made out of excite? Excited. Okay, so I excited. Did. Okay, based on this, I'm going to use I am or I get excited, right? So um, remember, I cannot say something, something, an activity, a movie is excited. No. So you say I am excited, I get excited, or I got excited, right? What about with ing? What would be the adjective with ing? Exciting. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me something that is exciting? Yes, for example, when when I go um, a place that I have not been there, mm -hmm. that I have never been there, for me it's uh, exciting. Exciting, okay, okay, nice, yes. Or doing something different, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. What about interest? With ED, that would be? Interested. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So how am I going to use this word? Can you give me an example with interest? Of? I am interested in getting an, a new car. Oh, very nice. I like the way you use it. So, yes. <laughs> I think I handle that organ. In a girlfriend. In a girlfriend. 
You're in, in, a new your, in a new girlfriend. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I am interested in, right? Or I get interested. So we have only like these two ways to use it. Now, interesting, the other one, remember that is for objects, right? Interesting. Something like a movie, like a book, like um, what else? An activity, right? That can be interesting. Now, what about relaxed? What would be the easy way to say relaxed? I'm gonna just move this a little bit. Okay. What about relax, guys? So with ED, how do we pronounce it? Relaxing. <laughs> Relaxed. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Relaxed. Exactly. So uh, remember that is I get or I am relaxed. Those are like the most common ways. Now, relaxing refers to activities. So that would be the difference here. What it's about with letter T? Relax. Relax. With T. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. T. What about uh. satisfy? Teacher. Yes. With I and E is is correct to say I get relaxing too. No, because no. relaxing is the activity. So uh. for example, uh driving is relaxing, swimming is relaxing um going to getting a um going to a sauna for example is relaxing so it, it is an activity watching a movie is relaxing so when you're talking about yourself you can use i am or i get but the first only the ones in ed i am bored i am excited i am interested i am relaxed so okay. but with activities that would be the second oh it is boring it is exciting. It is interesting. Mm -hmm. That would Thank be the way. Thank you. No worries. What about satisfy, guys? With ED? Satisfied. Very nice. So satisfied. Again, I am satisfied or I get satisfied. So what about ING? So we are just we are just going to include this one. That is fine. I got a question for you guys. Uh, can you tell me something that is satisfying for you? Think about an activity that is satisfying. Sleep with cold weather. Sleeping in a cold weather is satisfying. Okay. What else? What is satisfying? Drinking a coconut. Drinking a coconut is satisfying, okay, or a Coca-Cola, <laughs> a super cold Coca-Cola is satisfying. What else? Uh, finish the English corpor corporative platform. Ah, oh, I finished the platform is satisfying. Okay, now what about satisfied? So uh, can you give me an example with satisfied? I'm sat satisfied for X, X question, I mean. Yeah, I'm satisfying. Well, I, I am satisfied for my achievements. I am satisfied because I completed an activity, right? So I am satisfied. Or I get satisfied when something happens. Uh, what about tire? I'm gonna help you with this one. Uh, probably the word looks a little strange, but this is tired and tiring mm -hmm. i know you know how to use tire let's go with tiring can you can you tell me examples of activities that are tiring um for me are satisfied and tired when i do the cleaners on my house when i be doing the cleaners okay so you feel tired and satisfied okay at the same time yeah mm -hmm. what about tiring can you give me an example with tiring, guys? And the same meaning. The same meaning, but we don't use with people. Mm -hmm. We use it for activities. Activities that uh, involve a lot of physical effort. Workout. Find the mountain. Okay, yeah. Normally, we use ING for those. Going to the mountains is tiring. Uh, working out is tiring, uh -huh, because we're talking about activities. 
Any other activity that is tiring? Drive with traffic, teacher. Driving in rush hour, driving with a lot of traffic jam is tiring, okay. Anything else? Climb the mountain. Climbing a mountain is tiring, okay. Yes, I agree. <laughs> okay, and let's go for the last and then we start practicing, guys. So worry. Uh, again, PT, that is for me. I am worried, yeah? Oh, I have a lot of things to do, I am worried. Or I get worried when something happens. Now, the other one is worry, but then ing, worrying. I'm going to use it too, but I'm gonna use it for activities. Guys, what is an activity that is worrying for you? Invest in a new business. Ah, investing in a new business is, okay, worrying. Being stopped I, by the police. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I don't understand the meaning of worry. Um, don't translate it because if you translate it to Spanish, you will get confused. So just think about an activity that causes you worry. So you say, I am worried, but the activity is worrying. For example, investing, especially in Bitcoins, investing in cryptocurrency is, is worrying. So that makes you worry. That is the idea with worrying. Arriesgado. No, preocupante. Um, it's worrying to pay bills with a few money. Yes, I agree. When you have just a little and you need to pay all your bills. Okay, so it is worrying. Make yes. a land. Take, take a? Take a, a, a land. Uh, it's worrying. Take a land. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure I get the, the word. Damage. It's uh, worrying. Prestamo. Oh, alone. All right. So uh, taking alone, a loan is okay. Sorry. It's worrying. Yes. It's worrying. The it's interest, worrying. paying for the yes. interest is worrying. <laughs> the pandemic, somebody said. Okay. So the pandemic is worrying. Okay. Or getting sick is worrying too. And I think that now it is not a pandemic anymore, it's an endemic. I believe, I'm not sure. It's endemic. Close. Yeah, right, it's endemic. Uh -huh. Or soon it is going to become an endemic. So now guys, let's go ahead and practice this. Um, so just remember, ING is for the activity and the ED is about people, how we feel, right? With a specific situation. So let me show you the next exercise. You can take a picture because you're gonna use the adjective. So wait. Teacher, teacher, can you put the the yes, yes, the yes. Give me just a, a second because that computer that's so crazy. So hold on. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's down right now. Yeah. Okay, All so right. you can take a picture that will be amazing because we are going to be using them. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead. Okay, and there we go. So let's take a look at this one. It says, use the adjectives from the chart to make some sentences, right? So it says, for example, Miriam works in an ACAM. She says, it is. So because we have here, it is, we are going to use ING because we're talking about an activity. So what comes to your mind? Can you give me two words that we can use here? It's boring. Okay, it is boring and? Oh, but very? Um, so she works in an ACAM. <laughs> an ACAM is like where people, um, maybe migrants, people that need some help, you know, or who have a specific medical condition, things like those. So it is boring. What other words come to your mind? Tiring. But very it healthy. Tiring. Okay. So it is tiring, mm -hmm. but very exciting. Healthy. Healthy. Exciting. 
Okay, but very exciting. Okay, probably with healthy, that would be just healthy. Uh -huh. So we cannot change that. So it is boring, but exciting, or it is tiring, but exciting, because we're talking about activities, right? What about the second guys? Here we have, if you are, so why not donate to charity? If you take a look, we are talking about people. So we are going to use ED or ING. If you are? Tired. Tired about climate change, but it says about. Any other word that we can use? Worry. If you are worried about climate change, why not donate to charity? Okay, makes sense. Uh, number three, chill out music is so, we are talking about music, guys. Relaxing. E or ING, relaxing. Chill out music is so, any other word? Chill out music is, is so relaxed, relaxed. In, uh -huh. so it is so we relaxing. Have use, we have to, with ENG. Yes. It's because so it is an activity. Mm -hmm. So it is so relaxing or it is so boring. It is so interesting. So yes, we need to use ING. Our teacher was so, no one was in his lessons. What words come to your mind? Confused. Our teacher was so confused. No one was understanding his lessons. Uh, that would be all right. That actually makes sense. Uh, Azucena, what was the word? Or learning. Interested. No Our one was interested was so... in his lesson. Oh, that it makes sense so too. Learning, uh, understanding, that sounds good. I like. Uh, that one. Mm -hmm. And Mauricio, what was that? Tiring. No one was tiring in his lessons. Mm, but because his people, no one was. Uh, no one was interested. Interested. Or no one was tired. Uh -huh. So ED because his people. Okay. Number five, guys. I'm good at English. I am so. ED or ING? I'm talking about exhausting. me. Or I am so exhausting of or doing all this exam with ED. Okay, so this is like the point in which we have to identify ED or ING. It says I am. So with a person, all the adjectives have to finish in ED. So I am so interested of doing a board, board, no, boring now because it says of doing. What was the other one, Monica? I think you mentioned another word. Exhausting. Oh, okay, yes, ED. So I am so exhausted of doing. Yes, makes exhausted. sense. Exhausted. Um, I heard somebody else. Dago? I am so tired of doing. Tired of doing. Yes, that, that could definitely be worth Okay, what about number six? Caitlin was, we are talking about a girl, a person. So we are going to use ING or ED? ING. ED. There we go. So Caitlin was about going to the concert. It will be unforgettable. Can you give me some ideas? Excited. Excited. Excited? Excited. Okay, what else? Okay. Or any other word? Interested. Interested about going excited about going what else mm. emotional oh no. emotional. maybe the word we cannot use that one but excited would do excited would do okay and the last one guys are you with the same routine every day do something you know um so are you Boring. This is a person. So this is a person. ED or ING? E ING. Oh, uh, but it says, are you? Like the person. So okay. ED, are you? Exhausted. Are you exhausted with the same routine? Exhausted. Are you? 
Aburrida, bored. Bored. Are you bored with the same routine? Are you what else? Worried. So we can use like a lot of different adjectives here, right? Uh, to use this thing. Give me one second. I just have one more. Guys, do you have any question with this? Is it confusing? A little? No, not much. I, okay. I got it that when it's about a person is ed, yes. and when this activity is ng. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so help me please identifying the correct word here. It says, are you interested or interesting? In interested. 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 There we go, in the environment. Are you tired or tiring? Tired. 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 Okay, I'm talking about it, but doing nothing. Environmental groups need you to be a volunteer and help with they're excited or they're exciting? Exciting. Mm -hmm. Because it's new campaigns, so activities, right? Exciting. If you are in number four, what would you select? If you are bored or if bored. you are boring? Bored. bored. If you are bored, exactly. With your weekends, get involved and become a volunteer. It is really satisfying. 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 There we go. It is really satisfying to know that you can make a difference. You'll probably make some amazed or amazing. Amazing. Amazed. Amazing. New friends too. You will probably make, but it's not exactly you. It's not a person, but you're talking more about what you can do. So you'll probably make some amazing, right? New friends too. So if you are worried, worried. Yes, about the future of the planet, contact our local environmental group or visit the website. If you can donate your time as a volunteer, you can be a cyber activist. Just send an email and you'll be surprised. Right. Yes, very nice. Now, this is just grammar. Let's use it in real life. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this. I have three questions for you guys. Uh, just try to um, be careful at the moment that you use ED and ING. Try to listen to yourself. Try to monitor yourself. Now, question one says, what is the most disgusting? Disgusting food because we are talking about food. But you can also use the word disgusted. So I was disgusted, right? Or I got disgusted. So I got disgusted or I was disgusted. So we can use both if you're talking about you and your feelings. Uh, the second says, when was the last time you were really embarrassed? Because it's you. But if you're talking about an activity, so that was embarrassing. Falling was embarrassing. Looking around was embarrassing. So you change it to ING if it is the activity. What things are frightening to kids? Were you frightened by them? So we have frightening when you're talking about the activity. I don't know, snakes are frightening, uh, rats are frightening. Or I was frightened by. So we have the two words right there. Let's discuss them, right? Try to just um, start giving your opinion. Try to use as much vocabulary as possible. And if you have the opportunity to use this word, disgusting or disgusted, embarrassed or embarrassing, so just monitor to make sure that you use them correctly, all right? So I'm going to... I'm going to share them in the chat. I don't know. You will not get them. So maybe you can take a picture, guys, because now I remember that you will picture, not what get is the meaning? What is the meaning frightened? Frightened is scared. So what ah, things scared. are frightening to kids? Like what things are scary for okay. children uh -huh, or make you feel scared? Yes. So that is frightening. OK, or frightened. Okay, guys, I'm going to send you so we can discuss, talk. We have 10 minutes and then we come back. So enjoy you guys. Let's go, everybody. Go, go, go.
All right, I'm gonna ask you, what's the most disgusting food you ever tasted, uh, Azucena? Uh, I think uh, the most disgusting food that I ever taste, it was a, a special dish where I, I believe that, <laughs> but, uh, I was wrong because it was awful. It was um, a dish of, um, I don't know how to say in, in English. Just let me some minutes. All right. Um, octopus. Uh, ah, it was ah. awful. Yeah. I had never eaten octopus. <laughs> don't <I> try do. <laughs> please <laughs> well in, in that moment it, it was awful for me i um was i went time? to a restaurant and yeah i went to a restaurant and i decided to to taste some different because i like shrimps i like fish and something like that so i mm. decided to to taste octopus but it was really, really disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? <laughs> was it here in El Salvador? Was it here in the country? Yes, yes, it was in San Salvador, in a restaurant oh, okay. of San Salvador. The same as Irving, no, in San Salvador. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> what did you taste? <laughs> what was it? In my case, it was uh, an, an special dish uh, with octopus, but it was oh. awful. It was really disgusting. It was bad. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, I I am not very picky with food, so normally I just eat it. <laughs> But one time, no, I, I like to try different things, but I'm not picky. So I'm like, eh, whatever, you know. But one time I went to Santa Tecla, I think, uh, I don't remember if that was Merliot to the Mercadito de Merliot that is so famous, or I don't know where exactly. But I remember there was like a beef soup, and that was like really bad. So it, it tasted just like water. So it, at the end, uh -huh, I didn't eat that out. What about the rest of you guys? In my case, the most disgusting food that I have tasted is pork. Pork? Yeah. But, but when you say disgusting, is it because you simply don't like it? Or disgusting uh, because of the way it was prepared? Uh, it's disgusting for me because um, how do you say the olor? The smell. No, oh. the smell. Uh, so general. it is stings? Yeah. In okay. general. Stinks. It is stings, really. So you don't like anything out of a uh, pork? Uh, yes, I don't. I never eat pork. Ribs. In Maybe ribs, pork ribs, nothing. Uh-huh, pupusas out of pork? Nothing. Pupusas, I only eat... Uh, if your mom do it. Con queso, but never put. Oh, wow. Okay, very interesting. What about you guys? Well, in my case, um, the most disgusting food that I ever tried mm -hmm. um, was how they prepare. And was when I was shy and was preparing for my grandma. Mm -hmm. I is I can smell and I can eat whatever food that is wrapped wrapped and wrapped wrapped with, mm -hmm. with, with eggs. You know, in El Salvador ah. we eat uh, fillings like, like, mm -hmm. like fillings. So you don't yeah, eat the rejas. No, it's because I don't know why, but the smell that when you are um, I don't know if wiping the eggs. I don't know mm -hmm. if would say it's very strong for me so it smelled very disgusting mm -hmm. so when I was shy my grandma was doing I don't remember exactly was it was a 
potato or was, uh, I, don't, I don't know who said whiskey. Uh, that's a chayote. Who said it? Uh, chayote. Chayote. Chayote? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so that's so, a chayote. I don't, I don't remember it, what was it was potato or chayote or chayote, okay. but I remember that my grandma wrapped it two times, you know. That, so when you uh -huh. try it, it was so hard, you know. Mm -hmm. This it was crunchy of, and, and smelly, yeah. It's so well disgusting that I that that uh, that that food. Made me vomit, you know, in the. You threw it out. Yeah, so for that reason, even now that I be with my age, <laughs> I can't smell nothing. Even in this week that is Semana Santa, uh -huh. when my family prepared, I don't come visit my family there because I feel so bad. I can't even, you know, try to <laughs> smell because. I start to feeling, you know, that feeling in your stomach that you, okay, this is going to be so bad. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely get that. Okay, very interesting. Guys, uh, what about the second question that you have right there? So the, the second one says, when was the last time? Oh, no, let's jump to number three because of the time. What things are frightening for kids and you were frightened by them? What are some of the things that you are frightened? First of all, um, what is frightening for you? Are you frightened by anything? Uh, I'm frightened about the heights. Oh, uh, heights. Heights. Mm. And uh, it was a, a scary situation for me. Oh. When we went to to the swimming pool with okay. my little kid and with my husband, but my kid um, it told me, "Mother, um, can you uh, deslizar?" Okay, uh, going to the slide. Going to slide to the uh, hill uh, tobogán. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, so frightening for me oh okay yes. wow but some months uh, later i can do it oh so I, you you tried yeah okay but, but some some months later okay finally uh, i i i get okay <laughs> i mean but that's difficult uh -huh. yeah. especially um uh, when you have some phobias right so i think yeah. it's really hard okay so how i had to be brave uh, because of my son <laughs> you got to you got to yeah. but but it is it, it is not that easy to face those um i would say phobias because i think that those are in a way phobias um i was for example i am still frightened um whenever i go to the sea or whenever i go to a deep swimming pool because uh when i was a little girl i was about to drown so i uh, it happened to me you two times a a bad experience about so that. i had a trauma with that so now I like little by little I'm, I'm getting over that monica you can swim um i learned to swim like three years ago because i wanted to face my fear so i was like no you know i have to do it i have to do it it was difficult at the beginning because uh, whenever i got into the water i was like oh i'm gonna die i'm gonna die you know it was really bad but yeah. um, little by little, yeah, I was like, no, I have to do it. I need to do it. So I did. <laughs> but still, from time to time, my brain plays tricks on me. <laughs> what about you guys? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of anything? You're being Elvis, not me. When I was a child, I was afraid for clowns mm -hmm. is the correct uh, ways to say payasos. clowns yeah. clowns yes ah okay and now uh that was super oh you overcame it oh, yeah. yes okay over overcome i'm gonna write that word down so overcome overcome is superar so you already overcame it 
Okay, so you overcame it. Nice. It is difficult to overcome some fears. So I'm happy for you. I still see some clouds and I'm like, this clown is going to steal, it's going to rob. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh -huh. okay, guys, yes, Irwin, tell us. I'm not afraid of nothing. No, I was actually going to ask you that. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't know why, no. Rick. I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. Uh, seriously, you're not afraid of anything? No. Darkness. I, 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 darkness. Dying. No, darkness. Losing, I like darkness. Losing, I prefer darkness. Losing a part of your body, getting sick. Because normally, afraid is not like super, super bad. But it can be something related to life or to people. Yeah, know. but you will... Um, the the thing is that um you will always die mm -hmm. uh it doesn't matter in any way so okay. it, it will be the same thing uh, are you afraid of getting married are you afraid of having babies are you afraid i don't think you're not afraid of anything <laughs> there must be uh, something <laughs> Maybe getting married. Oh, no, but like afraid? Not afraid, but uh -huh. um, you have you have to uh, to think about it. It's not a easy decision to take. Yeah, but think about it. I'm sure there must be something you're afraid, afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis, are you afraid of anything? Yeah, well, once a child, I remember the this i don't know the night that it's curved the not darkness. Curved, darkness so yes. dark you're okay so you were afraid of darkness yes so darkness frightened you and what about now mm, does it still frighten you uh the, depending on the the place mm -hmm. i mean just <laughs> because if you are in a dangerous place yes yes mm -hmm. it's a friend but it's in my house, for example, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So think about it, Irving. I am sure tomorrow you will tell us something. <laughs> okay, guys, because of the time. Oh my God, let's go back. Give me just a second here. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks a lot for coming back. I guess the other guys are coming as well. Give me one second. Oh, no, they are taking a little longer. Okay, guys, so uh, using ED and ING adjectives, was it a little um, complicated for you or not that much? Not really. Mm, not, not really, you, not much. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I'm still, you know, having second thoughts on your answers about the things that you're uh, frightened by. So <laughs> I really want to listen to that part. Okay, uh, guys, um, so thanks a lot for coming back. In the group, we were discussing a little bit about like fears, what you were frightened by, what you were frightened by, and all those things. So let's think about it, okay? Try to think about all the things that you're afraid of and why, and you tell us tomorrow. I'm asking you this because uh, Irving mentioned that he's not afraid of anything. So I'm like, wait, that is not possible. <laughs> there must be something that you're afraid of or that you were afraid of. So that is going to be your only homework for tomorrow, guys. Uh, besides the platform, but I'm sure that the platform is over by now. So think about something that you're afraid of and why you are afraid of. That is the most important thing. So at least uh, try to practice it for, uh, to try to explain it for one minute. And tomorrow we come again and we are going to practice a, a little bit of fluency 
um, session, right? So we can work a little bit on thinking a little faster or combining ideas a little faster. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining today. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, okay? And have an amazing day. Have a good dinner, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. See you, see you. Bye.